The more we change, or the more people uh, are being restricted in the way they do business, then obviously they have to adapt. So I'm, I think probably we won't be using cheques, I would say, in the very near future. Um, so banks probably will not accept cheques in, say, three or five years. I mean, we're seeing the Maltese government, for example, is being very active in this sector, uh, which obviously is going to create you know, a, diff a new economy. Uh, I don't think it's going to die, no. I think, uh, you know, transacting without intermediaries, transacting without a need of a, of a bank, will change our lives and I, I, you know, and that has a lot of positives. It's, it's a matter of uh, adapting and making sure uh, that you know, you're, you're dealing with, with, uh, with mediums that are, are safe to, de to deal. I think it needs to be a two-way or a three-way. Obviously we're, le we're, we're licensed entities. We're, uh, we have to abide by regulations, whether it's the FIAU, whether it's the Malta Financial Services Authority. Uh, and obviously, whatever we will do, we need to be in line with what our regulator allows us to do and not allow us to do. Uh, so we will not take you know, risks uh, if it is not within, within our, our license conditions. It's a fact that banks are looking at fintech and joining forces, and you know it might it not might not be in the open yet, but we, you know I think it's a fact that everyone, every company, whether it's in the financial services, whether it's trade, you know, and, and other areas of, of business, are are studying and looking uh, at new ways, and probably the sooner, you know, the first big bank comes out with you know with, with something then obviously they're going to be uh, first in, in taking the advantages of what all this is, is going to bring about. Getting the, the right legal framework to operate in, in, in these new areas of business I think will be key to institutions, to governments, to uh, regulators, to, to financial service providers like us. So it's, it has to be a chain. Uh, you know, we talk a lot about uh, blockchains and here we are talking, it's one chain and we need to make sure that the chains are all properly, you know, tied together so that people uh, will not get hurt effectively. You know, Malta cannot afford to get a bad name uh, because of, of you know, uh, having too, wide, too widely opened the door, possibly, for these, these new uh, ways of doing business. But at the same time, we cannot shy away and, you know, we shouldn't take a back seat and let everyone do it and then be the last to do it. So I think the right interaction, the right interaction with the industry, with, with the regulators, with banks, with, you know, with the end user, I think if, we, if everyone is well informed and you know, we do it one step at a time, I don't think we should, you know, as you said, rush into it. People need to be well informed before you know, doing anything which they could regret but also keeping, uh, keeping your eyes open to opportunities, to different ways of doing business, to opportunities that will arise that can benefit everyone uh, if all is done in good faith.